All right, hey, Shalom on my account. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rikak Vadash, double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Sumo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God's chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there pushing this knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who were scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. All right. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of who the world ignorantly called God, who the world ignorantly called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And when you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh means he to be, or he is. Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel from the destruction of modern day Babylon, aka America. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and Barakate Yahweh, Barakate Yahweh Shai, Barakate Yahweh, Barakate Yahweh Shai. And the body of Hashem Shai for another blessed day. The body of Hashem Shai for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And the body of Hashem Shai for this opportunity. And all you beloved brethren out there pushing this knowledge in sincerity and truth. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. We're going to start it off with um, Jeremiah chapter uh, 50, verse 25 on down. And it says, the Lord had opened his armory and had brought forth the weapons of his indignation. But this is the work of the Lord God of hosts in the land of the Chaldeas. Okay? So the armory that the Most High is speaking about, the weapons of his indignation, is dealing with the thermal nuclear bombs. Which I believe when you look it up, it's like eight or nine countries. I was looking this up earlier. Countries with nuclear. Yep, countries. Yep. It says combine Russia, United States, the UK, France, China, India, Pakistan, Israel, and North Korea possesses over 12,000 nuclear weapons, most of which are many times more powerful than a nuclear weapon dropped on Hiroshima. So we're going to X out the United States. So you're done with Russia, UK, France, China, India, Pakistan, Israel, and North Korea. These are the countries. Let me see what it says right here. It says nine. So it's eight, eight countries right now with nuclear capability. Capabilities. So those are the storehouses where they have these weapons stored. What you call the nuclear silos. Inside, they have them underground, they have them in, um, in ships, you name it. All right, so this war that's going to um, take place, which, which we already in World War Three, is going to lead to a thermal nuclear destruction of the United States of America. That is known as the land of the Chaldees. They go into the world Chaldees there dealing with um, the enlightened ones. <laughs> which is dealing with the elites of the society. They do not live here, but this is the focal point, the focal place for a new world order to take place. This, 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 is a, this is a place full of nothing but confusion. All right? So you go down to the third definition there. It says, those persons considered the wisest in the land, the wise ones of this land dealing with the elites of this society. Okay? So going back to this article... Remember, it says, it says most, um, it says 12,000 nuclear weapons, most of which are many times more powerful than a nuclear weapon drop on Hiroshima and also Nagasaki. Now, peep this. People think Hiroshima, atomic bombs. People think Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Those were tiny. The thermonuclear bomb is a two-stage weapon it is an atomic bomb inside a nuclear bomb the atomic bomb is the fuse 
It's so incredibly powerful. It's like if you set off 1,000 Hiroshima's at the same time in the same place. It only takes one of those to take out a city. And also the anarchy and the mayhem that is almost guaranteed to follow. After a nuclear war, there's it's just a matter of self-survive. Hope that you have Pedialyte stock. It seems like there's no hope for anything. In essence, five billion people will die. The people that die in the minutes and hours of the fireballs, the fallout, and then the nuclear winter. Because the temperature of the Earth will drop by 40 degrees Fahrenheit. There will be 330 billion pounds of soot lofted into the air. Atomic bombs, people think... Man, so you brothers hear that, man. You sisters hear that. All right? So it says, the Lord had opened up his armory. He had brought forth the weapons of his indignation. So you go into the word indignation. <clears throat> All right? Anger, indignation. Go down to the Strong's definition. Figuratively, fury, especially of God's displeasure with sin. And that's what this place promotes, nothing but sin and lawlessness. There's no type of structure. There's no type of um, no type of culture here, man. Anger, indignation, and rage. All right. This is the uh, modern day um, Sodom and Gomorrah, the modern day Egypt, and the modern day Babylon. Which, which, when you go into that word, it means confusion. Babal from the Hebrew word babal. Nothing but confusion out here, man. So that's why us men of the Lord, we have one of the toughest jobs in the in the world to walk this straight gate surrounded by surrounded by nothing but wickedness. So that prove to prove to you, also it can prove to you that the laws cannot you cannot be saved by the laws. It, it is a schoolmaster, it is it is a guidance to keep you disciplined, to keep you on the straight and narrow, let you know what is right from wrong. You understand what I'm saying? Because these people out here, they don't know what's right from wrong. You know, they just, oh, I'm free. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to put tattoos all over my body. I'm going to see what this man's woman is woman. I'm going to commit adultery. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. That's a lawless society. And the Most High is not with that. Okay? So what is sin? The transgressions of the Most High's laws. And there's 613 laws. So it is impossible to keep the Most High laws 100% in this society. Which the society do not promote the fear of the Most High, so that's nonsense. Okay, it said come against her from the utmost border, dealing with these countries with these nuclear capabilities. And Vladimir Putin said he will be giving other countries nuclear weapons. All right, open her storehouses, which were, which you know the areas that they store these nuclear weapons, you know underground bases. Uh, and they are uh, nuclear subs, wherever it, wherever they got it. Those are the storehouses. Okay, cast her up has heaps and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. So once this man, this great reset, because the earth shall abide forever, this planet will not be destroyed. It's, it's like a, it's going to be a cleansing mechanism. This place is going to be heaps of rubble. None but a desert. Not yes, come against her from de from distant lands. Break hope, break open her granaries, crush her walls and houses into heaps of rubble. So all these houses, buildings, going to be is going to be turned into heaps of rubble, man. Totally destroyed. Destroy her completely. And leave nothing. All these gyms and clubs and uh, uh, um, you name it, man. These fancy places. You know, it's going to be left to nothing. Totally burnt up. Slay all her bullocks. Let them go down to the slaughter. Born to them for their day has come. The time of their visitation. And the bullocks will be, you know, representation of these young people out here, these young men. It says the young bulls. 
It says, destroy even her young bulls, says, metaphorically speaking. These young people out here. It will be terrible for them too. Slaughter them all. For Babylon's day of reckoning has come. Let's see what it says in the NIV. It says, kill all her young bulls, you know. Representation of these young folks out here. Let me see. A good precept for that, you go to Isaiah 34 and 7. It says, and the unicorns shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and the land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. So, so that's metaphorically speaking. So you go to NLT, it says, even men as strong as wild oxen will die. The young men alongside the veterans. You got a lot of veterans out here, man. Because this America is a war machine. I myself is a veteran, but you know, ain't done a bunch of crazy stuff. You got a lot of killers around here, man, that made it through these different campaigns. And alive and kicking. And they, they be on different talk shows talking about these things. They're going to get caught up in this, man. The land will be soaked with blood. And the soil enriched with fat. It's going to be a sacrifice out here, man. The Mosai is setting this place up to be a sacrifice. The great altar. All right? It says, uh, verse 28, The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of Yahweh by Shimei of Shai, the vengeance of his temple. That's dealing with the elect. Yashra Allah. All right. Um, the North, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. The Simul Indians represents the temple of the Most High. Starting off with the elect. All right. It says, call together the archers against Babylon. All right. Representation. When you go into the uh the word archers, I don't know why this internet want to slow up now. Go into the word the archers. We were just working earlier. Oh, uh, there we there we go. <clears throat> Call to together the archers. I was looking this up. We go into the root word etymology. It means to shoot. All right, then it says the root word etymology through the idea of projection. All right, to shoot an arrow. So the arrows of today will be those nuclear missiles, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right, so the archers are these countries that have these nuclear capabilities because the UK represents the beast. And the scripture clearly says the beast shall hate the horse. So they're going to, you know, most are going to allow all these prophecies in, the, in these last days to be fulfilled. They're going to shoot their missiles on this bitch. All he that bend the bow camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she had done. And that's what this place promotes. And but wick, not but lawlessness, wickedness, and sin. Do unto her, for she had been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. So, hey, Babylon judgment is on its way, and that's the icing of the cake on the cake. That's the great reset. So, giving all praises to Yahweh Shimei Shai, Lord, one's edifying lesson to very elect. Shalom.